Hello, my loves. Welcome, welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part four of Ashwood Barn. We are going into the interior today. We've got the downstairs to finish off. And then I think the final part will come next week and we'll furnish the bedroom area in the old stone barn area of the build. Um, but yeah, that's all we've got to do today. So we've got an office, an art studio, a mini library and a toilet to furnish today. And I think we'll start with the mini library and toilet and then we'll move on to the office and the art studio. That's what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's get on over and start doing it. Right then, my loves, here we are. We're back. Back here. A few little changes from last time. Thank you to you guys who were pointing out this wall was a different colour. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I also got rid of the mirror. I just wasn't feeling the mirror. And I've used this. I just think it suits the aesthetics of it in here. Um, so I did that. Didn't change anything else. Liked it. Um, kitchen wise, um, Leon has left his crisp out. The dirty, dirty, dirty bugger. Um, I also got rid of the, uh, well, I just put this one shelf here and I was like, oh, I still want some cupboards. So I put some cupboards up and then I was like, looking at it, I was like, I don't like the window either. So we got rid of the window. Didn't really need it anyway, because I've put the sink on the island and the sink was there looking out. Um, we got rid of it. Uh, I also got rid of the window that was here as well. Uh, didn't really catch that. There was the window looking into the staircase there. It's a bit strange. Um, but everything else I've left as it is. So what we're doing today, we're going to be doing toilet. A little mini library slash reading room, really, more than a library. Um, I might even bring the doorway over that way so we can fit a bookcase in that side quite nicely. Stunning. Um, yeah, toilet. And then I think what I'm going to do is put the art studio maybe in this room here because it's nearer the back. And I just think it's got a nicer view out the back than the front. Um, and off to the side there, just so we can get some inspiration from the surrounding area. Um, and then uh, the art studio there as well for Rose. I mean, the office for Rose there as well. So yes, yes, that's it. That is it. That's all we need to do. We're going to crack on. Um, but I like how this came out. I really did. We're also going to do the little entrance um, area here. We may as well do that today as well. So yes. Anyway, we'll start in the library. We'll start in the library. Why not? You know, how are you, my loves? How are you? It's Thursday. It is Thursday. I am live on Twitch tonight playing a new game called Little Witch in the Woods or Little Witch in the Woods. Yeah, no, it is called that. Little Witch in the Woods. Um, I can't wait. It looks really cute. It looks re very cutesy. Stardew Valley pixel vibes. But you're a little witch and you live in the woods and you make potions and stuff. So if you do want to come, then by all means do. 7 p.m. GMT, you know where to be. Um, I don't know what bookcase to put in here, to be honest. Oh, actually, this one would work. Oh, it does. It does. I might go slightly warmer with the wood. Um, yeah, I'm going to go slightly warmer with the wood and flop in. Oh, damn. Oh, I forget the height of this one. It's quite big. I'm going to size it down rather than moving it down. I'm going to scale it to maybe like a 0.95. See where we go with that. Uh, Oh, no, that's perfect. That's perfect. There we go. We scaled it down. Beautiful job. And then that won't be poking through the ceiling. And then I won't have to sink it either. Yes, that's good. That's a lovely little bookcase, actually. I do like that. Um, I might even put some more books on there. I do want to use this one here in the office and pretend that these are maybe the books that Rose has um, already written. Like some of the, her own books. So I might just fit up some... Oh, that looks great. <laughs> yeah, I did completely forget. Did completely forget. Now, this will probably be floating by the time you get this, but I'm going to move it down anyway to make myself feel better. There we go. No longer floating. It was a 0.2, by the way. Um, Yeah, nice. I like that. Nice little area for this. I do enjoy it. Uh, I might even just move maneuver that in a little bit more there. There we go. Stunning. How is that staying on there if I've used the tool mod? Very strange. Very strange. It's probably snapped into that placement, actually, which is good. Um, I'm thinking probably a couple of chairs in here. Maybe they like to come and read in here together. So I'm going to go for some nice armchairs. I'm not going to go for this kind of like uh, this vibe in here, though, I don't think. I think I'm going to go a bit more cleaner in this room. But I don't know what ones. Uh, mm, even these could work if I could get... Uh, that colour kind of pops out a bit too much. I don't know, actually. I don't actually mind that. Or I might go a little bit more industrial and use these. 
little bit more industrial with them and use these chairs. Um, hmm. I mean, those other ones look comfier. Well, you'll find out what I picked in a minute. We've gone for the industrial ones. Gone for the industrial ones, plus the table as well that they did purchase from Berry Cloth Antiques. Thank you. Uh, and I might even put a nice little lamp here as well. Um, just something quite simple, I think. Something quite simple, but it just needs to be like a full lamp. I mean, I don't want to go nautical with it because I've already used that one out there. I don't want another one of those in here. Uh, so maybe just something very simple. Maybe like like base, base game UFO one, maybe. We're going to go for that one from get to work. It's a little bit industrial then as well. I like that. Let me just check some of the other swatches. See if I can... Oh, I prefer that one in there with the, the white lampshade because the bottom's a bit more silver. I'm for that. Oh, I'm honestly for that, I am. Do you know what? That is just how I want it. I don't want anything else in here. I just think that'd be a lovely little reading room, a little quiet nook to get away from it all. So, on to the bathrooms. I'm thinking going for all a semi-industrial vibe in here as well. So, I could probably get this shower in on this bit here. If that won't look too weird. No, it doesn't actually. That looks like, all right. We're going to flop you in there. Let me see that. Yeah, we'll go for some like black kind of accents in this bathroom, I think. I could probably fit a full bath in here. And plus a shower and a uh, sink on the other I mean, a sink and a toilet on the other side. So let's try and do that then. Let's try and do it. Now, there is that one. Oh, this one would look good actually. Oh, oh yes. I was going to use the row top one, but I was going to go for a different one than that one. But I like this one. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to flop you to there, my love. Perfect. We've got that black accent coming through. Sink wise, um, maybe I could use this one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, we're going to flop you there, my darling. And I'm just going to use that matching toilet as well. The toilet that I used to death. I just like this toilet. Very Victoria Plum. From Victoria Plum. I hate that advert. I think those in the um, the UK will understand what I mean when I say that. <laughs> oh, I can't bear it. Cannot bear it. Um, little cheeky um, toilet roll holder. Still baffled. I, we haven't had any new ones of these. Um, we need a whole pack dedicated to that place. Um, we've already got a whole pack dedicated to picnic benches. So why not that, you know? We haven't, but there are just many picnic benches in the game. I bet people, I bet someone out there was confused, like, what? Really? <laughs> no, it's just me being silly. Very silly. I might even brighten that up a little. Yeah, I'm going to flop you to there, my love. Okay, we've got a little blind action going on. I think I'm going to put all the towels on this bit here. Um, Where am I going? I'm going into toilets, bathroom. and flopping on a little towel. Oh, yes, you would work in here. Um, Do we have... No, I mean that one. No, the brown's too light. I think we need to go black with it. Yeah, we'll go black with it. Put a towel there. Beautiful. A little hand towel as well. Um, and I'll flop you there, my darling. I might even change you to a cheeky black. Oh, yes. Uh, and I, we need some greenery in here. So I think maybe some hanging plants coming down. Um, so that lovely one that comes, that big trailing one from the ceiling, please. Where are you? Um, it's getting harder and harder to find stuff in The Sims. I don't know about you lot, but... <laughs> or you guys with most of the packs like me. It's getting harder and harder to to find them. Here we are. This one here, but I think we'll size it down. It's a bit, it's a bit big. And I'll flop it around about there. Need to come out a little bit more, my darling. There we are. Yeah, cool. Cool. And I think I'm going to do a little bamboo rug in here as well. Um, I don't like bath mats. I hate bath mats. I've got a bamboo like tray that I get on and step on out of the shower. There's just something, I don't know, weird to me about getting, putting my feet on a bath mat. I know whatever, you, you will be clean when you come out and you've put your feet on a bath mat, but that doesn't stop me thinking it's disgusting. Thank you. Um... Hello, where are you? I need the bamboo mat, please. Probably staring at me. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Do we want to go for a little bit of brown in here? Yeah, just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. I'm just going to put it 
No, I'm going to put it outside the shower, actually. Screw the bath. It's flagstone floor and they've got underfloor heating. Lovely job, Blay. Lovely job, Blay. Yeah, that's cute. That's a cute bathroom. I think that would do all it needs to do. Lovely. Okay. Right, we're going to move... Um, in fact, we're going to do this first. We're going to do this first. We'll furnish this little bit area here. And then I'm going to go and pull out loads of stuff that I think would work really well um, in these two rooms. And we'll furnish them together, my darling. So, this is a lovely little, like, almost boot room, really. Um, I wish I could pull that over to this side. I mean, is anything stopping me from doing that? I mean, that is, but I could get rid of that. Plop that there. That also gives a bit more space to this as well. And then it will give me an option to be able to put something there. Like, maybe... A little hall table. Um, going for an industrial kind of vibe. We've used that one. Okay. Maybe this one here then. Maybe this one. Yep, yeah, that will fit in there beautifully. We'll flop that one. And because we got rid of that mirror, I'm going to put another mirror here. Um, and I'm going to go for... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to go for. I'm a bit bored of the mirrors. I don't know about you lot, but I think we need some more... I think we need some more mirrors. Some nice landscape ones. We haven't got many of them at all. Eh, it's a bit boring. We'll go for that black one there from Outdoor Retreat. I had to move it down with a, the tool mod. Um, not 0.3 to get it at a decent height because it's far too high, that one. Um, and I'm going to put a bowl here. I'm going to put a bowl. I wish we had like little like... Like a, even a kit pack just full of clutter. I would love that. Like car keys and stuff and like mobile phones, like stuff, remotes. I know you can go in there and find it and debug and whatnot. But I just wish we had a pack where you can just put it straight into the game. I would love that. Um, little bowl for their car keys and whatnot. Stunning. And I think I'm going to do maybe a plant here. And then we'll do like a little sit down moment here. Um, do I want to use an actual, not sofa, but like a little ottoman or something here? Maybe. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to use that one that I used to death. Um, comfort. This one here, I think it would work well in here. Mm, no, it doesn't now, actually. Now I'm looking at it. It really does not. What about you? You come in some stupid colours. I'm not using you. Um, oh, that one's all right, actually. I thought that was going to be awful then. No, we'll use that one. We'll do this one here. And I'm going to put a little coaty peg. Let me just type in coat, because then I can find it. A little coaty peg behind it. Coaty peg. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, why did I ever start saying that? I do not know. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And I think I'm going to put some shoes down by the side here. Show. Let me type in shoe. Oh, maybe a sh an actual shoe rack, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'll keep it in that brown as well. Yeah, perfect. And then flop a little plant in this area here. Um, Something that's just not going to take up too much room. Ooh, could I put like a little citrus moment? Yeah, but I'm not feeling the colour of that bottom. We'll do that one. Eh, no. We'll go for this one. We'll go for this little darling here. I love this one. Apart from the shadows on it. But we're not going to let that come between us again, are we? Yeah, that's cute. Nice entrance. I'm for that. So, as I said, let me go and grab loads of bits and bobs. And we're going to place them in these two rooms together. So, I've pulled out a few little objects that will get us started. But we'll do the rest together. So, I've pulled out the desk. I've pulled out the desk here. I've gone for like an old typewriter. I just think that would suit her vibe going. Now, storylines. So, this is an award for her charitable donations because of the amount of money she gives to charity through her children's books very very nice um this is a couple of her book characters the cow plant couple <laughs> um and this is one of her most famous characters as well i know it's a school project but i reckon she writes about this little lonely robot a bit like wally i would say um and i've pulled out other things as well and, um things that would be in her books so maybe some of the castles that she writes about from her fantasy sort of children's books um, and some of the characters that live in them maybe these little bunny rabbits and this ghosty gruffalo going on i just thought that would be nice now i don't know what to put these on just yet i'm thinking about just doing a nice like shelving unit over here uh and having it just straight along 
like by the window maybe having a seat in the middle or something i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do i do want to put some bookshelves in here though so that's what we're gonna do first we're gonna look for some bookshelves let's get rid of debug and live edit the plainer the bookshelf the better really in this room so maybe using those fail safe ones that i absolutely love um and the ones from get to work these ones here I might actually flop these in this room as well. Should we go brown with them? Just to get a bit of richness in here. No, I don't think we're going to. I will use the black and white though, rather than the full black. Um, so maybe these are some of her books that she gets inspiration and stuff from. I kind of love that idea. That she can get inspiration from other people because it does work like that in real life. It really does. It very much does indeed. Yeah, we'll flop you over in the corner there. So I will put a seat in here, but I'm thinking about putting the seat over in this corner now rather than, oh, I don't know, because I would want it to be by the window. I would want it to be by the window. So saying that, what about if I put the book shelf here? Move this along just a tad so it fits in nicely. I could put the seat there and then we could do like the display unit here. Don't know what we're going to use for a display unit. So I think I'm going to go and search for that first. And then we'll start putting stuff on it. We're going to go for these. I think these fit in with the industrial theme really nicely. It's that full metal shelf. I should use these a lot more because I do like them. Uh, these are from Journey to Batu. Um, and I just think they would work really well. Like this kind of stuck on the wall. And hopefully I'll be able to fit some objects in there. I doubt it because, you know, Sims. But... Let me spin you around. You're fitting in there quite nicely, actually. I didn't think you were going to, my love. Really didn't think you were going to. I mean, you're not going to go above, but I can easily use the 9K. In fact, I like these that much. I want them up a bit higher. Maybe if I, like, flop one to there. Lovely. Maybe these are what some of her fans have done or created um, and sent them. I, I kind of like that idea kind of like that idea and i will make sure with the save file as well that she's already written a few books and got some notoriety from those books oh you're a bit um oh no this one's not gonna fit in here i might have to size it down I and mean, i don't mind sizing it down it's fine um yeah i'll make sure that she's got some no notoriety in the the book world maybe on the road to fame oh they are coming through there i'm gonna pull these right down then instead and then they'll fit perfectly well either side then lovely stunning here for it here for it um let's get another one in let's get the cock riding gnome <laughs> i've been called that before darlings <laughs> not a cock riding gnome <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Moving on. I'm going to scale this down. 0.8 maybe. I think that might be a good size. Will you, will you be too tall? You will. Uh, so 0.7. Is that going to be too tall as well? Yes. Now, I don't know what the story would be because with her cock riding gnome. But he's one of the most beloved characters in all of the land. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, God, that hat is going through a little bit, but we're just going to pretend that it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm into that. Into that idea. Some of her books that she gives away to family and friends. So we'll get them. Maybe we'll pop these up here, actually. Oh, we'll do a few of them. We'll do a few of these or a couple, actually. Yes, that's our latest venture with Blarfy. <gasps> we should get a Blarfy out, actually. Um, uh, How do I spell it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a double F. Sorry, Blarfy. Very fussy. Very fussy indeed. So maybe we'll get out Blarfy. These are the characters from the Blarfy books as well. <laughs> that is the storyline and that's, that, that is what I'm sticking to. Yes, I'm into it. Um, I reckon this could be maybe one of her accolades or awards. Excuse me, nearly burped. We'll flop you up by the window there. And I'm going to put in some more of her books. Oh, this is not going to snap on there. Some more of her books. Um, we're going to whiffle you up to it. I could just get out my LMSP shelf, but it lifts up quite well today. So it's not, I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it at all. And this is one of her best selling things as well. So maybe that should have kind of pride of place. Maybe you could come to like there. And then this one can come to like there. 
So I do want this place to little be a little bit whimsical, you know? A little bit whimsical. And these are her characters as well. That is Reg and Gloria. And they are characters in her books. And they're about wooden pegs and they get used as butt plugs. No, they don't. They do not. The children's book, Aiden. What is... Stop it. For goodness sake. They do not get used as butt plugs. You would get splinters. It, like weirdly though wasn't like wooden instruments used many hundreds of years ago just saying just saying loves absolutely just saying um probably want to get like a full-size sofa in here ah oh, i really wish that that didn't have a back on it so saying that then we'll probably go for another ottoman instead um just so it hasn't got a back on it maybe we could do a double up of these or i could just use one and put a plant in the corner that would be nice wouldn't it do that Let's do that. We're going to do one of these. And put a lovely plant up next to the ghosty Gruffalo. Which is another um, character that she absolutely loves. And everybody does too. Thank you. It's quite dark over in this corner. So I might have to light it up differently in a minute. Um, but I do want some greenery in here. Uh, and the art studio, we are going to go to town with the greenery. I'll show you in a sec what we've kind of got already. Um, maybe I could get in a bit more of a bigger leafy boy in here. Maybe the leafy boy that... Oh, I'm going to use you in here. I'm going to use you in the other room as well, but you are coming here too. I'm going to flop you to there, my darling. Lovely little pothos. Um, and I might even just use... Um, where are you? I can never bloody find anything anymore. I can't. This one. This is the one I wanted, for goodness sake. Pop that one just into the corner. Yeah, I like that. Yes, bit of fresh. Bit of freshness in here. We do need a little lamp because she does work late. She does work late, but she's finding it very difficult at the minute because she is preggers and she needs her sleep. Um, But I reckon she does put a lot of effort into her books and the time she spends with them. We're going to go for the green one. I think that would be a nice little pop against the blackness. Yeah, this would be cute. We've got one more thing to fill down there. What could we put in there? Maybe I could just do a row of books, actually. I think I'm going to do like just a, row, a plain row of books like these ones. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll pop in just two. There we go. We'll change the color of them as well. Oh, beautiful. Now, I do want to light this room up a little bit. Um, and I have been using um, these ones on the exterior. Oh, no, it wasn't in this build. <laughs> I'm thinking about the speed build that's coming tomorrow. Um, this little 19th century inn that I've built for Let's Build the Worlds, but I've done it in a speed build form. Um, but be on the looks out for that, my loves. And maybe a clock up here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a clock coming on. Um, maybe just using this one here, just so she can keep up with her timings and whatnot. Yes, I'm into that. I'm into that idea. Oh, that's cute. I think that's a perfect little office space for Rose. I really do. Oh, I can imagine her sitting in here, looking out, getting inspiration from her characters, from all of the creatures that are in the trees and whatnot. Oh, we've got cherries. Oh, oh, lovely. Very lovely. Got some cherries going on. Now, on to the art studio. So I've obviously already made a start. I wanted a nice green wall here. Drag a bit of that outside in. Um, and I've done a little mural here. Oh, I've also forgot to mention. I reckon um, Leon came and did these little murals uh, for Rose. I reckon and he was like, do you want me to do some of your characters? And she was like, yeah. And so he did. You know, storylines, loves. Absolute storylines. So, we've got this. I am going to get that messy... Yeah, this one here down in this room. I'm going to use this one. As much as I really detest using this, because I just don't like it. I'd rather use newspaper. But um, we're going to put that down. Because I reckon he's a bit of... He gets a bit frantic with his paint splashes and whatnot. He goes a bit mad with it. Um, and I reckon music's a good thing for him as well. We're going to make him play the guitar. We're going to make him play the guitar. I want lots of greenery in here. I want some canvases. So let's get that canvas stack, actually. If I can type in canvas, it will pop up. There we go. Lovely. Oh, I don't know what one to use there. They're all pretty shit colours. I'm going to use the blue. I'm going to use the blue. I'm going to flop you into that corner, my love. Beautiful. And I do want... Ah, oh, they're called the pretentious ones. I do want a stack of... 
um, paintings up against the wall as well. So I'm going to do that too. And I'll keep them in that size as well. Just cover that graffiti. Um, I reckon this room's a little bit of a... Not in a disarray. But I reckon it's very much used a lot of the time. Um, hmm. I do want to put a stereo in here. And I could probably fit a full stereo in this area here. Music's very important to him. So maybe I could put a big stereo in this room. He just blasts it while he's painting. Yes, we're going to do it. I'm going to use this one here as well, which was purchased um, from Berry Cloth Antiques during their audio phonic um, sale. <laughs> oh, Aiden, I do worry about you. I do, I do worry about myself sometimes. Oh, oh well. Crack on, you know. Let's all be weirdos together. Who wants to be boring? Who wants to be dull? Not me. Who wants to be dull? Who wants to give a shit about what other people's got to think about you as well? Not me, darlings. Absolutely not me. Right, I like that, but I do want to load this place in with a little, with more greenery here and there. Right, you're going to be eating into that wall there. So I'm going to flop you to here, my love. Beautiful, beautiful. Plants, plants. We're going to do a little row of plants here as well. So, oh yeah, you will do well in here. Plop you down there, my love. Um, oh, maybe you. Why not, you know? One of these on the floor. Uh, we need a tiny, tiny one. Oh, no, this one. We'll pop that one down there as well. Just to be surrounded by greenery in here, I think it would be nice. Now, we have got that one. Let me filter for that pack, actually. The Blooming Rooms. Um, where are you, my love? There you are. Because we've got that wall one, haven't we? Oh, it fits in there a dream, it does. Uh, we'll go for the darker one. Oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, this room's this side here is not really used. Um, So, I think maybe... Oh, I could get... No, it's got shit graphics on it. I was thinking about that lamp with on the chair, you know, the, like, artist kind of setup thing. Um... I think I'll put another big plant here in a chair. Maybe he comes and sits in the corner of the room, has a little read of a book to just and listen to some music, to just get the juices flowing. You know, loves. You know. You know, you just gotta think about these characters sometimes and think about what would they do? And that is what he would do. So that is what we're gonna do. You know? Poetry by me. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, something like this would look nice in here. Maybe not that one, though. Maybe, yes, this colour. Yes. Again, purchase from Berry Cloth Antiques. They are very good customers of Graham's. They really are. They enjoy his work. They really do. Yeah, I like that. And I think a lovely big plant next to it as well. Um, maybe the base game, like Palm One. Oh, I know I've used this. I've used you already. You're already out the door. You're literally right there, darling see you from here why was i looking around the corner then <laughs> tell you why silly bum absolute silly bum yeah yeah we'll use this one in here the graphics have stayed really well on this i think like compared to a lot of the base game objects where the textures are just look really aged i think the graphics on that one have really held up well they must have spent a lot of time on that mesh i think um, unless they've retexturized it without us knowing. But it still looks great compared to the other. You know, like, I'll, I'll show you an example. Let's put one of those base game. Oh, oh, oh. Those base game dining chairs that I've in my mind. This one. Like. Have a little look at you. Uh, I can't really tell a difference, to be honest with you. So maybe it does look like shit. <laughs> I'm being mean now. Being mean. Yeah, I like that. I like that. What's it look like from different times of the day? We did have the best then because it's got some sunlight coming in there. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm into that. I'm into that. I think those rooms suit them perfectly. So we have to, we are done with the downstairs, my loves. Done with the downstairs. As I said, I'll be back next week and we'll just finish off this whole area here. So we've got the master bedroom to do, the ensuite bathroom, but also the baby's room as well. Excuse you, thank you. Nobody invited you in. Uh, so we'll furnish the baby's room as well. And we'll go a little bit whimsical with the baby's room. I think some murals. I reckon some murals that uh, Leon would have painted. 
Um, obviously, we haven't got any doors up here yet. And I'm thinking about putting some wallpaper in this bedroom. Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe just going a little bit darker with it. No idea, but we'll do something. But um, we'll leave on probably my favourite room that we've done today. And it's probably Leon's studio. I do like Leon's studio. I wonder if we can get a good thumbnail from this. Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe over this way. Yeah, I could probably get a good thumbnail here, but I'll have to move this um, canvas thing to get it. It looks nice, doesn't it? Looks nice. We'll leave on that one there. Oh, that's a lovely view, isn't it? Like that. Do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. As I said, live on Twitch tonight. Come and join me. If not, I'll be back tomorrow with a speed build for... What did I call it again? I can't remember what I called the... Was it the Red Lobster Inn? I think it might be the Red Lobster Inn. I'm unsure. We will soon find out together. Oh, actually, do you know what we're going to do before we go? We're going to have a look at the map because a few of you guys have been wanting to see the map. Um, I'm going to cover the speed build, though. <laughs> You're not seeing where I've done my speed build. I'm going over this way. I might look a bit weird and cut off, but you're just going to have to deal with it. So this is what we've done so far. Oh, do you know what? I'll treat you. I'll treat you to a sneak peek. There you go. There's your sneak. Oh, the red horse inn. Sorry, not the red lobster. <laughs> so this is the red horse inn that we're going to be... Well, it's going to be the speed build tomorrow. I've made it dog friendly, a cat hangout, and a romantic aura there as well. So this is Brindleton Arbor. That is with all of the crew in. We've got the molten anchor chippy down here, um, which is owned by Imogen and Bo. Uh, we've also got the Colonel Arms here, which is the bar. Um, and we've got the Harbour Cottages where Pam and Paul live, loves. Now we've obviously, we're, we're here. So this is Ashwood Barn. And then we've got um, Brinton House, home to Lady Penelope and Graham. And we've got the lovely family in Bayview Farmhouse as well. So there's another big farmhouse there. Uh, the Pink House, um, which what you guys created this family and I absolutely adore them. Uh, and obviously the way of the fash over at Brinton Isle Castle. Um, so they've got their own little moment. So this is what we've got left. We're going to be doing a big farmhouse here. Um, we are going to be doing some shops and stuff around here. I'm also going to do a park here as well. I'm going to do a park on one of these lots here. I'm not telling you what I'm doing on these. I've got really big plans for this lot here, the 40 by 40 lot, uh, which I think we're going to go on to next. Uh, and there's going to be a full household there of eight sims as well. So it's all coming together, darlings. Um, but I've got very, it's going to be reminiscent of let's build Newcrest for that lot. That's all I'm going to say. So I've gave you a sneak peek. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.